Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to maximize your game capture and screen capture quality. I've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out what is the best capture utility and what are the best capture settings for streaming and for uploading videos to YouTube. And you know what? I found a little secret, some secret settings, and I can't wait to show them to you. Now, previously, uh, I showed the best capture software of 2015. Bandicam was the winner. Now, one of the reasons that Bandicam is the best because it doesn't take up too much CPU and it supports third-party codecs. Now, right now, I'm recording this with OBS. OBS has been very popular for video game and desktop capture, and it works great. But comparing OBS and Bandicam, Bandicam is still outperforming, and I'm going to show you how to use it to create even better videos. Back in the day, we used to use Fraps or DxTory. The bar is raising even higher and higher. Some of us want to capture at 4K or 1080, 60 FPS, making those other raw capture programs make files that are way too big and it takes up way too much CPU. So what if we can do high performance capture, making smaller file sizes with even more quality than ever before? That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to open up Bandicam and I'm going to show you exactly how my settings are so you can do this as well. So let's take a look at the settings. Here I've got an NVIDIA card and I can use the H264 NVIDIA NVEC, which is a hardware encoder built into the graphics card. This is not going to affect your GPU. Now the AMD cards also have one, but I don't know if that one works the best. In my tests, I only used NVIDIA. All right, so this is definitely the selection you want to make if you have Bandicam. I've got the GTX 970 and it works great. Try your card. If you have a 970 or better, I can guarantee you this is going to work great. If you have a lower NVIDIA graphics card, it should work as well, but no guarantees. You've got to run this test yourself. And if I click here to take a look at the settings, I choose VBR quality base. This is recommended. And here I select the, my graphics card, which is the GTX 970. And here for the 4CC mode, I choose X264. And the keyframe interval is going to be 60. The results were amazing. We're going to take a look at the results so you can see the difference in the quality compared to some of the other codecs that uh, Bandicam has. I feel like the H264 video card encoder is so close to lossless, it blows my mind. And there's hardly any other reason to use another codec when H264 or X264 is so close to lossless quality. So here I leave the audio set to MPEG-1 because I'm going to be capturing my audio to separate WAV files. And I'll show you that later on in the settings. All right, let's take a look at some examples. Now, I'm going to admit I did do a little bit of pixel peeping here. You zoom in so close that you can see the pixels themselves. All right, and I'm just doing this for analysis. Now, when we do sharpening and slow motion, those little defects really start to come out. Uh, something that's really important in World of Warcraft, as well as many other games, is the text. We need to see combat text. We need to see the names. Take a look at X264. Very, very clear. All right, now we're going to take a look at the X264 CPU encoding, and we're going to use a special codec to record using the CPU. This codec is going to be great if you don't have GPU encoding or if you have some problems with GPU and you want to use your CPU to encode. Let's take a look at the best CPU encoder that I've seen to date. And on my website, I'm going to put more screenshots and more information about how you can make your Bandicam maximize the quality and the workflow of your game captures. Let's check it out. So here I'm using this X264 VFW, which is a free codec that you can download on the internet. Uh, it's basically an X264 encoder that allows you to configure very precisely your X264 capture. So let's take a look at what these settings are and exactly what they mean. Uh, first of all, the preset ultra fast. Ultra fast just it uses less CPU and it encodes much faster. But as you move down the list and you go down to slower, it uses more CPU. So we're going to use the least amount of CPU possible. We're going to use zero latency. Basically what it does is it uses zero frame buffering, and that's going to allow us to maximize our frame rates in the game and for capture. Here at the rate control, this is going to control how big the file is versus the quality. So if you drag this down closer to one, you're going to get a higher quality. If you drag it all the way up, you're going to get lower quality, but a smaller file. Now, I found that 15 is a pretty good balance. If you think the files are too big, go down to 20 and uh, try it at 20. 
Here's an extra command line. This one is important for you YouTubers, those of you that want to edit and you want to get a very smooth preview during your edits. This one is for you. This is the keyframe interval. And here I choose 60. I'm going to be capturing at 60 FPS. So this is going to be about every one second. There's going to be a keyframe that's going to help us as we're scanning through our footage and we're dragging our preview along the timeline. Uh, the more keyframe intervals that we add, the easier it is going to be to preview when the keyframe intervals are separated more, you get smaller files, but they're very hard to edit and they can drive you crazy as an editor. So here, what you're going to do is set this between 10 and 60 for pretty good uh, editing performance. You want some balance there and I'm feeling pretty good about this. And uh, go ahead and click OK and OK. Here, I'm going to set the codec sound to MPEG-1. This is a low quality codec, but I'm also recording to wave. I'll show you how I record to a wave, to a raw wave. Uh, you can record to PCM here um, and it works, but I prefer, my preferences, and this is totally up to you, because unlike OBS, now you can record raw audio. Right now, my audio is being compressed, so I'm not able to record raw audio into OBS. We like raw audio for that really high quality audio. All right, click OK. Here in the settings, I like to record sound to make sure that's checked. And I also like to save audio tracks while recording. So what it's going to do is it's going to dump the video file onto the hard drive as we record. And it's also going to record in raw wave. Here, what you could do is you can uh, combine the channels to sound mixing. That's just going to make one file. But if you uncheck that, it's going to make two files, two audio files. One is going to be your mic. One is going to be your speakers. That's great because maybe you want to edit your voiceover different from the audio coming out of your speakers, or maybe you want to mute the speakers and just go with voice. Whatever you want to do, this gives you the freedom to do that. So I'm going to click OK like that. And uh, these are going to be my settings for video right here. It's optional whether or not you want to show mouse click effects. I use this when I'm capturing the desktop, uh, but when I'm capturing games, then I turn that off. Let's take a look at the GPU NVIC versus the CPU X264. All right, essentially, they're both X264. One is encoded by the hardware graphics card, and the other one is encoded by a third-party codec, X264, which is encoded by the CPU. I saw very little difference in the quality, but the GPU NVIC seemed to make smaller files, used virtually no CPU, had higher frame rate, and slightly higher quality. So there's no doubt that the NVEC is working better, at least for my graphics card, the GTX 970. So give it a try, see how it works in your hands, and let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Check the links in the description. On my website, I added some screenshots and some more information to help you get the best capture in the world. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Please like. Good luck and have fun.